In this video, we are going to dive deep into Breaks icon. We are going to talk about why you should use custom SVGs instead of icon packs. What are some trade-offs if you use the icon pack over SVGs? And if you care about speed or performance, how to use SVGs over icon packs? If this sounds interesting to you, now let's jump right into this video. So anytime you use any icon from the Bricks icon pack, so in this in this instance, I have a Twitter icon from Font Awesome Brands. So let's save it and view on the front end and right click inspect. We want to check the network tab with CSS tab selected. Let's just reload it. By the way, I have disabled the WordPress admin so that it doesn't load its fonts to make this a fair comparison. So here, font awesome main CSS. Anytime we use any icon from the icon pack, it loads these external CSS files. In this instance, we have 74 kilobytes being loaded to this page but that's not all since we'll not be using all icons from this icon pack we'll be getting warnings in our lighthouse report so let's head on to lightbox mobile enabled performance we are going to analyze it so when we scroll down to the bottom here reduce on use css we are getting this So library font awesome. We are getting this warning in our Google page speed insight. So Google is screaming at us for having 72.6 kilobyte and we are not using out of it. We are just using like 0.3 kilobyte. So imagine you use different icons from different icon packs. Like in this case, let's go back. And on another icon, probably at another place, we might want to use an arrow from an arrow from um, Ionix. Let's just save that one. Preview it on the front end. Then let's come back to our network tab. Reload it. We can see from here the font awesome CSS and another CSS from the Ionix css meaning the more icon packs you use in your project the more additional css that is being enqueued to your website and the more warnings you get in your google page speed insight if performance is of interest to you then i would suggest you use svgs instead since that's embedded within the html and doesn't require any additional css so to prove that Let's just come back here. Then I'm going to delete these icon packs for the time being. Then would we'll add an icon. For the icon selected, would we'll give it a class of SVG class. I prepared it beforehand. Then we'll come to team. Then we are supposed to choose SVG. For some reason, if you are not seeing this SVG, you should come to your settings, bricks, then bricks settings. Then general tab, make sure you enable SVG uploads for the right users. In my case, I have it enabled for administrator. And that is why I have access to SVGs. So what you can do now is you can select any or your uploaded SVGs. Then you can give it a height. Let's give it a height of 4M. Save it. View on the front end. Then there's no extra CSS. But instead, when I come to my network tab, right click and inspect, you can see that the SVGs are being embedded into the HTML of your website. Now, no more page speed inside warnings. Let's clear it, analyze it. And now, at least when we we'll come to our reduce on use css warnings there won't be anyone from any icon pack that's a plus for performance 
now you might be wondering okay if i'm to go with the svg route how do i get my favorite svgs or my favorite icons so i'll share the links to all these icons so for ionic icons you can just click on this button to download the whole icon pack for themify icons you can just click here to download the whole icon pack for font awesome you can just come to the icons like i've come here or you could just choose any icon pack that you like go to any of them then when you see an icon that you like you can just click on the icon let me use this then you can just click the download svgs and it will download the svgs i also prefer another icon pack called remix icon that you can download from here and they organize this yes, like in arrows buildings i normally love using icons from remix icon so when you see an icon that i'm using that you don't have just bear in mind that i'm using remix icons so after that downloading them this is how it will look like it's going to come as a zip you must extract the zips then so this is where i saved my icons the remix icon svg teamify i downloaded one beforehand then the designer pack is from ionix after extracting you come to the ionix then you have your icons as svgs that you can upload to wordpress so the ones you also download from font awesome will come like this so these are svg files all you have to do is just go to your media library so i'm going to come to my settings come to media library then i'm just going to throw the square this one that we downloaded from from font awesome this very one so now in the media library we can always come into our what our bricks dashboard so save it reload it now we should get access to our custom svgs so this is how you get access to these like all the icon packs using bricks builder how you download them extract them and how you can upload them remember to always enable this setting then you are good to go in this example i'm going to keep it on my twitter then we can proceed and there's a warning here with the added benefit comes additional tax that you must do to properly get svgs working on your website so after downloading and uploading them to your website here are a few things you should you should take note of so the first one is unlike the icon packs font size that is this property here won't work even if you do it on the id level so let's just come to the svg add for rem so i'm going to add for rem here when i come into my svgs and i remove the old height you'd see that the forum is not applying even if i come here and i make it on the id level it still won't apply so this is straight off number one but there's a work around it but another thing that i'll tell you is that okay if the font size doesn't apply at least the color applies here so i'm going to add this purple and the color applies but the font size won't apply here but you can always come into this svg pop-up then set your font so i'm going to for rem here for rem here and it works here but it is there's a gotcha here and let's come into our style overview and check what's happening you realize that when you apply the color bricks adds color the purple and the fill of purple so it's the fill that is applied but the height that we set in a pop-up is applying to the id and not the class we can come back add a width another four rem add a stroke width of a 0.1 rem we can add a stroke color of 
blue then a fill color of yellow now one thing will happen this fill color is overriding this purple color and the reason being that when you right click and we'll come to our style overview you can see that the fill color that is the yellow is being applied to the id for us the color that we were specifying here is applied to the the class so we can now remove it then we we'll just use what we have now we know that bricks is applying these to the ids so it means that if we want to manipulate our icons on the class level we have to use custom css so let's just take note of these declaration if you want stroke width this is the declaration stroke width stroke fill height width you can just copy this like so to save us from typing come back to the svg pop-ups then i'm going to remove them or then we'll just we we'll just suffer once by coming to css and we'll paste this here we can just remove the id and include root save it so as soon as we change it to root at least that applies so now that you know how to declare your stroke with your stroke your fill your height you can just keep this css declaration somewhere then the ones that apply you can use it in this example i'm just going to take away the stroke width then i want a fill of let's say purple just for us to see that it's working then i can keep my height as 4m and my width as auto save it check on the front end that applies now let's right click inspect and confirm it's still applying to the embedded code but at least but at least we are not using any additional css files cool so it means that anytime you'd want to update it on over you can just use roots over then you, you change the fill color to let's say red save it view it on the front end then then it's fill not that fill save it so now when you hover you get your red so you might be wondering why should you go through all this hassle just to get svgs to work on your site the answer is quite simple icons are really really important in web design we use them in social icons in search field icons or search icons we use icons in our cta buttons then in our hamburger menus we use icons so in all these case st case scenarios that i've shown you imagine you are using different icon packs then when you start assembling all these let me call them atoms on your website imagine how many remove on us on use css warnings you are going to get you should really be careful on how you use icons on your project moving forward i'll end my findings here catch you on the next one peace